everybody is mad and they have nobody to tell them but I am going to tell them because you are mad as in you are mad you're mad for interrupting me hi everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm just gonna do a little rant <laughs> nah but yeah little talk everybody is mad and they have nobody to tell them but i am going to tell them this is me telling you mad people that you're mad no ma like no matter what you mad people try to do to us normal people yeah my god is greater where do i even begin the advice in this video is to not let people make you think that you're mad when you know that you're not mad do you know what i mean like when you know yourself and you know what you like and dislike you know what you allow or will not allow as in people of it like people will come and try and make you think that you don't know what you're talking about or that you're mad as in the cheek as in okay cool like i'm not even talking about anything in particular it's just something i've i've realized in my 19 years of age i mean I've realized over the 19 years I've been alive and the things I've seen with like my friends but cool okay say I'm in a situation here yeah. okay I don't want to talk about situations because that'll be a bit sticky but some I just know that some people are very deluded and oh I can't even talk about it. let me just let me, give me a second to gather my thoughts because I'm just annoyed right now people will switch up on you out of nowhere and make you believe that you're the one that's moving mad and that is where people are mad how can i just be chilling relaxing messing all cool and shooting some people outside for one couple of guys who sorry how can i just be chilling just here yeah cool thinking if it's calm then all of a sudden you switch up on me i've realized that you switched up on me and i'm thinking oh right what's going on there try act normal just maybe like it was just a one-off but they're still moving mad cool me personally i will fall back no that's what i've started to do now when i was younger i didn't really get it you know i, was, I didn't really get it now if you switch up on me i am falling back so hard fall back game strong do you know what i mean like i will fall back so hard you'll turn where's i i'm gone who has time once the person starts moving if he starts moving mad cool you you do you Personally, I'm a fall back because I ain't got the time. I don't need to be around such um, negative energy. Like, if you don't fuck me, I mean, oh, sorry for swearing. If you don't really mess with me like that no more, okay, cool. I don't mess with you back. If someone doesn't like you, why would you still try and mess with them like that? Obviously, the friendship has run its course. You, you can just stop being friends. Do you know what I mean? Like, eventually, the friendship will fizzle out. And that's, that's like, people, like, people might not agree with where I'm, where I'm coming from. I mean, I don't really care. It's my, it's my point of view. But, um, yeah, like, so you found out that your friend switched up on you. She's made you, or he, has made you feel like you're moving mad or that you're mad or that your feelings are invalidated Everyone. because... So, basic. so this is what will happen. They'll start moving mad. You'll be like, what, like, what on earth? Like, da 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 You'll kind of get, like, not upset or no, but it's kind of like you'll feel some type of way because they started moving mad. So then you'll start feeling some type of way toward them and then they'll be like, why are you feeling some type of way? And it's like, but you were moving mad. And it's like, no, you're moving mad. Do you know what I mean? They'll make you feel like you're mad for being, for having, for feeling some type of way because they were moving mad in the first place. My advice to you, if you've gone through this, because uh, I've seen people go through it, it's happened to me a couple of times, you actually just have to fall back. Once they start moving mad, you've tried to like you know think, like see what's going on like not straight away you have to like see what's going on gauge what i want like you know what i mean like what's good and if they're still moving mad you've given opportunities for like it to be resolved like you've given opportunities for the person to like kind of fix up and stop moving mad and they continue that's when you fall back so hard like they'll turn and be like where'd you go like you're disappearing like because you only need to surround yourself with people that are with with good vibes with people that are that will bring positivity to you and i'm gonna talk about negative friends <laughs> in another video 
Wait, yeah, that's the one I was talking about before the get, I'm gonna do a get ready with me just so I can show everybody how I do my makeup that one time. If y'all want more, then I'll show you more. But I'll do a get ready with me and I'm gonna talk about um, how toxic friends are detriments to your health. Literally, as, as in physically detrimental to your health, as in mentally, as in they will ruin you. Anyway. Just don't let people make you feel like you're mad because at the end of the day, you, you unless you're the mad one, you're probably not mad. People do, like, oh, this is why I just don't like people and I just can't be asked. Like, I just can't be asked. Like, I'll, like, I'll see people, I'll be nice to them. Okay, but like, when it comes to actual friends, like my, oh, ow, my riders, like my, geez, like my guys, I can count them on one hand. I'm cool with people, but when it comes to like your actual proper, proper friends, you don't have time to just be having all of these friendship issues if if situations like these proper stress you out because they used to stress me out you need to pray you need to put the friendship put the friends say their names in prayer and pray to god like even fast and pray over it read your bible read what the bible says about friendships what's it called and really talk to god and say god if these people are not supposed to be in my life let them go as in whatever it is just let them go just let them out of my life because if god doesn't want them if 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 the friendship isn't godly or if the if if god isn't saying yeah these are your friends why are you friends with them they're just they're just stopping your growth they're just stopping you from being what god wants you to be they're just preventing you from reaching your destiny and I, 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 that's not what you want for your life and that's not what i want for your life you know what i'm saying i don't know why i did that accent and i'm still doing it wow no but if they're not supposed to be your friends ask god to remove them immediately because they will do nothing but cause you problems as in i've i've this has been my prayer for the longest and when the friends go all of a sudden i can breathe all of a sudden a weight is lifted off my shoulders don't let people make you feel like you're mad because you're not and if they're making you feel like that you pray i'm like god because the main thing i can say for this is fall back and pray as in prayer is the key to everything so yeah but on a real like prayer will just it will change your life it will just it will make everything okay again like no matter how you're feeling about situations just pray and put it in god's hand literally just put everything in god's hand and he will just sorry he will just fix it for you so yeah stay away from crazy people um watch out for my um talk on ah jason christie what's up talk, um watch out for my talk on, well, watch out for my talk on why toxic friends are detrimental to your health and why you need to cut them off as in the first red flag cut them off as in the way everyone's screaming men are trash men are trash and you need to you know first red flag you cut them off same with friendships don't like okay let me just say a little bit now like with friendships the first couple red flag oh, okay cool with friendships, the first couple red flags, cut the friendship off. As in, the friendship needs to die. As in, the friendship does not need to be there. As in, before you start opening your mouth and telling them this, this, that, this, that about yourself. The friendship better go. So thank you for watching. Ah! Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. That was my Bye. <laughs> so yeah. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, bye. I just, um, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to say.